Yo, before this video starts, join the Discord if you have any questions or concerns about this script, or just want an overall community to chat about Lewis stuff. I get a lot of people in my comments asking for help, but I can't really answer all the comments, so it's better to just make a ticket on my Discord. Anyways, let's get to the video. Yo, what's up guys, welcome back to another video, and in today's video, I'm going to show you guys how to make an advanced script hub, because in my last video, all everyone said that you know, uh, it could be dumped and whatever, and that last video was meant to be like a basic introduction, but uh, my homie Gray made me a uh, system that we can use for this tutorial. Um, so yeah, let's get into it. So uh, you have to join our Discord to get the link. So uh, step one, join the Discord and then go to the key system channel. And then here will be a uh, load string that you're gonna need to grab. So uh, go ahead and grab this load string. This load string will return the key value. So uh, I just have a system, uh, s uh, simple window set up here. Uh, if you haven't already know, if you have if you don't already know how to use Orion, then uh, maybe look at my how to make a script hub video. But I'm just gonna assume that everyone watching this does. So yeah, go watch that video. But yeah, all right. So we're just gonna paste the load string. Just open like this. You don't have to put it in a variable or anything because it actually has a. Uh, that thing and then we're gonna also bring this over to my second monitor here and uh now we can just make variable and we're gonna call this variable local uh and we'll just call it get 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 gamv dot key can't spell key input equals string okay and then what we can do here is open this up and uh, we're gonna go ahead we're gonna go to the Orion docs and we're gonna uh, we're gonna kind of uh, create a tab so, there's your tab we're gonna call this tab main we're gonna go back we're gonna create uh, adaptive input here we go so do a tab, adaptive input, you don't have to put anything right now. And we're gonna create a button. So there's our button. And then we're just gonna make this called enter key. Get rid of uh, the default. And then we're just for this one we're gonna make value equals actually no we'll do key input equal uh, equals value and then uh, we're gonna call this button check key and then we're gonna make uh, this has so it has a set variable so the set variable for the load string is sf underscore key so yeah you can just uh, use that so you can just do if sf underscore key actually not we're just going to make a new let's do function check key um and then this key will be if sf underscore if sf underscore key is equal to key input then and then we're just gonna make a new window and then add. there we go um and then we're just gonna run this function execute and it'll take a second but this will show and then if we go ahead and input the key so in order to get the key by the way it will change every 24 hours in our discord server so you can click a link for ties uh, and link it to our discord server so if you see here you have to go to the key logs and then this key will update every day so you have to get the person to join the discord server and this will be their key every day so yeah 
it'll change and stuff. So just go ahead and copy that, paste it into enter key, check key, and you'll see that the new will open up. All right. So now we uh, have works, and uh, now we have that. But as you see, you can just keep spamming it, which is what we don't want. So I'm gonna show you just how to get around uh, that. All right, guys. So I actually just did some experimenting, and uh, what you're gonna want to do is uh, write this out. This will destroy the window, which is what we want. So yeah, we're gonna destroy the window, and then what we're gonna do is uh, task. Uh, I'll just do wait, and we'll wait like two seconds, and then we'll open this window. So we execute this, and then we get our script from the Sulfate Discord. So you guys can join link in the description. So you're gonna get the key. Just into enter key, check key. It will get rid of that. And then we have to actually have to recreate it. So let's go ahead and recreate it. All right, that was a little easier. We're gonna make uh, we're just gonna make a function called destroy. And then we're just gonna have this in here. So we can call it if whatever is that and destroy. And uh, there. All right. So now what we need to do is rerun this. Oh, do that. And then this is where your main script hub goes. So we'll just put script hub. Execute that. And then we need to check the key. And here's our main script hub. Right here. There you go. And then if we check, see. All right, never mind. <laughs> but uh, yeah, there it is. So that's how you make a thing with our key system. And a lot of people ask me about this, so I'm just gonna set this order now. Don't put your script up in here. Uh, what I mean is, don't write it all out in here. Make make it in a separate Lua file, make that a load string and put your load string, put your load string like right here. Do not write this all out. Everyone asks, a lot of you ask. And also uh, one last thing. Um, I, I think everyone just assumes that like I'm free all day and like they're the only one asking for help because I get asked for help like in a private VC a lot and I can't help every one of you and I'm sorry. So that's why I'm making these videos to help you guys because I'm not I'm not like five people. I can't really help all of you. So if you need help, make a ticket. I'll try my best to help you. And uh, yeah, hope you guys enjoy the video. Peace.